guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to Riding in Search of Enlightenment. Just out for a little spin on the bike. Recently did some drop-in heavy-duty progressive suspension springs on the front end. And I switched up the fluid and I just wanted to take you guys out for a little test ride and let you know how I felt about them. Honestly, you guys, all I can say is, wow. This suspension so much tighter, it's so much more responsive. I've only gone for about four or five rides. I meant to get uh, one on camera sooner, but they've mainly just been night rides just due to my scheduling. Honestly, I never thought that a product that was relatively cheap like it wasn't super expensive, under $200 Canadian shipped to my door. And then of course same for the fork fluid, but I didn't think that that would make such a change in how this bike rides. Ripping through the beautiful streets of Saskatoon. It's kind of the end of summer, but we're still getting plus 30 degrees Celsius weather, so that's nice. September 2nd, everyone's going back to school. Out of all the modifications that I've done to this motorcycle, I would have to say that the biggest difference in ride quality was working with the suspension on the bike. And the cheapest difference to make a huge, huge impact on how this motorcycle rides. It's like a completely different motorcycle now. Hiking up the rear end put a lot more weight and a lot more stress on the front forks and so I felt like it was riding kind of lower and, and a lot of more engine weight on the front end and so putting these heavier duty springs in really really helped. Where I notice it most is in corners. I can take corners at much higher speeds, the bike hugs the road and I do not feel kind of that uneasy wobble between the front and the back of the bike. I did the engine mounts as well, but uh, now that I've tweaked the suspension and the engine mounts, the bike runs like it's on rails. It's insane. I absolutely love this. this city this time of year is beautiful everything's green and we're starting to get into that shift so we're going to move into fall and we're going to get those autumn colors out every everything down here down by the edge of the river turns you know red orange yellow i don't know i'm a sucker for a good view i guess i guess that's why i like riding motorcycles It's different when you're on a bike too, you can just see so much more. That 360 view. I put some Octane Booster in my fuel, because we only have 91 here in town. And the bike's running fantastic. Like it's running like it's brand new. I recently also did a cycle of Lucas Oil fuel injector cleaner. It feels like I'm getting really even pressure, really even power, sorry. Dude, this bike just eats up anything I throw at it. It just blasted that gravel there and didn't feel like anything. The new suspension really, man, this is dialed. It feels 
feels like I'm on a dirt bike. <laughs> but just down in the frame, like... Oh, I'm giddy riding this. It's just uh, it's such a great experience. Any recommendations to guys out there that are still ripping Dinas or, you know, ripping Sporties or, you know, older twin cam touring models before you think about upgrading, you know, throw a little bit of money into the suspension, throw a little bit of money into other areas of your bike. And you might realize that what you have is gold. this city. Born and raised Saskatoon. Never get older riding through the streets of Saskatoon. I may take a million trips other places. I might travel the globe anywhere else. I might want to, you know, rip two wheels all over the fucking globe, but I'll come back here. enjoying the river right now. Like I said, there's like no diving out of the front end. I can hit these corners and when I'm pulling G's with the bike, the tires stay locked and really tracking. It's awesome. Like I can just feel the bike is so much more nimble and responsive. And if I take a bump in the corner, it's not throwing me all over the place. Like my lines are locked. If there's one thing I recommend to any of you guys, it is upgrade your front suspension. It's not super expensive. And this is crazy different. The rideability of the bike is just like... The gains are insane. The value of this product is insane. The ability to upshift and really climb in speed through tight corners like that, man, like the bike tracking perfectly. It's insane. Like I'm in, I feel like I'm in so much more control of this motorcycle. And that's the huge thing, man, is like if I'm going to be riding this thing and pushing the limit a little bit and taking it all over, I want it to handle perfectly. And with the weight of this bike, and with my weight, my strength, it's perfect. I'm also really noticing, which I like, is it's not really like high vibration through the handlebars, but since I replaced the fork spring, and it's a little heavier in the in the front end and I can feel a lot more of the road translating up through the bars and not in vibration like not in a negative way I just I can feel the bike handling a lot more 
I don't know if that makes sense, hopefully it does, but it's just like I feel like I'm grounded a lot more. I'm not bouncing all over the place. I stay really steady, my hand height stays really level. I was noticing too when I got on the bike that usually when I sat on the bike the squat of the bike would drop my headlight considerably and when I sit on it now it doesn't at all. It's keeping me right up at the top of that ride but it can still dampen just enough that it feels really really solid. I've about had enough of this person. The mixture of having these mids on my mini floorboards, having replaced the suspension now, this is this ride's like a dream. I don't want to even put the bike down. I don't want to put it away. <laughs> All I want to do now is adventure and find my next adventure. Got this ride guy being a weenie. What are you doing, you ween? Why are you going 40? Yeah, I say hands down, biggest thing I've noticed with the bike is just when I'm ripping it or when I'm braking or shifting or anything, there's like no movement out of the front. Like it's, there's no dive at all. Really consistent ride height. Really comfortable to handle. With that comes the confidence to, you know, rip it a little faster too, right? And I think that that's fantastic because you just have a little more confidence in the bike, how much it's going to set up. You know, like stuff like this. My bike's sitting higher physically. And so everything, your your foot pegs, everything else just works better. Bad boy, what you do, what you do. Really excited to paint the shop. Gonna make sure that there's some murals up. Be checking out couple of my favorite local artists and seeing if they can throw up some art on the walls of the shop just really change up the vibes in there I've been hanging a lot more of my canvases and a lot more of my personal art like stuff I've done and so there's you know a mixture of like old signs and you know old oil cans and then some graffiti art and some motorcycle stuff some posters, some Harley. Just kind of my personal mixture of like tattoo style and graffiti and motorcycle culture. So hopefully get a video up of that soon. Just us painting up the shop. I think that's something to say too is like a lot of the roads here because we have really harsh Canadian winters and like our spread in temperature goes from like plus 35 to like minus 45 in the winter Celsius. I'll throw up some Fahrenheit for you Americans out there. Just the equivalent values. Our, all of our streets heave and so we have these potholes and we have 
you know, usually tire tracks from where trucks have gone through and kind of pushed the road surface down. And so when you're ripping through a set of lights, you might be going, you know, 50, 60, you're getting on it a little bit, maybe 70, and you hit those ruts, that bike wants to bust unless you have really good suspension. And this progressive suspension took that away completely. Like it's, it rides like a whole different bike. Like cruiser meets like sport touring. Super happy. All in all, I'd say that I give progressive suspension a 15 out of 10 for their product. Ease of install was, it was super easy. Apart from me dealing with some of those technical difficulties I showed in my video. Having to deal with those pinch clamp bolts being stripped out because they've literally fused themselves to the bottom of the leg. So I'll have to do a little bit of work on that and fix that up. But just getting the oil out, getting them cleaned up, dropping the springs in and then button them all up, like that was easy. That took me like an hour. And that plus being under $200 Canadian, for how much it increased the performance of this motorcycle is, it's invaluable. I think that everyone should go out and do this to their stock motorcycle if you haven't already.